Hey guys, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and today we are going to be looking at my autumn kits. So I haven't filmed one of these videos in a long time and last time I did it was like kind of a different format but essentially given it is now midway through summer and autumn is coming up I need to go through and work out which autumn kits I am wanting to use this season what foil I want to use with them and then start a list of um like things I need to buy so that I can order them <coughs> 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 I apologize, I just had a coughing fit out of nowhere. <laughs> um, I need to be able to order them so I can get them in time ready to start using in autumn because that's March and it's already January, which is a bit scary, but that's that's life, isn't it? So, um, I normally would do this off camera, but I thought, hey, look, you used to film a video kind of like this, so why not film it? And if it never sees the light of day because it's crap, then, well, that it is what it is. Um, Here's my cat come to say hi, but no. Mummy's filming. We're not doing this today. Come on. Um, I just don't know how kind of good the filming, the footage is going to be because I just don't really know how to get both of these trays in the camera frame at the same time. And then I also have my iPad stand over there because I have my calendar open so I can kind of see what stays or what. So... Essentially, the first thing I need to do is go through the calendar and work out how many weeks of autumn I have and how many, like, other holidays or events are in the month. So, I'm just going to look at that. So, I've got the f last week of Feb, first week of March, I already have a kit for. So, we've got the 6th, the 13th, the 20th is my birthday, so we're not using that, the 27th, the 3rd, is Easter, so we're not using that. The 10th, the 17th, 24th, the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd. So 10. Let me just double check that. 6th, 13th, 27th, 10th, 17th, 24th, 1st, 8th, 15th, 20th. Yeah, okay, so I have 10 autumn kits like spots to use which is actually great because I have a lot of autumn kits so I'm kind of going to move that tray I think off to the side and kind of um, more so use my foil one so I've got all my autumn kits in my kit storage now if you want to see that I did a video on it I think it's called new organization for 2023 and that's where I go over how I now store all of my kits foil character stickers and scripts so um, essentially I'm going to go in and pull out actually you know what I'm going to see how many autumn kits I have to start with so this is my stack I'm just going to count them so I've got one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I have 14 autumn kits and 10 spots, which, oops, sorry, I just whacked the camera, obviously is not some ideal maths. So, um, mm -mm. I was hoping I was going to get, actually, there's also two kind of anytime kits that I know I want to use in autumn as well. So now we're up to 16, so I'm just going to grab those out. Uh, any time. So we've got this one and this one. And then I think I'm going to put this off to the side. Am I? God, I've got stuff everywhere. Um, no, because I'll put it like to the side, but I kind of need it because I need to be able to put kids back. Okay, so um, I have essentially when I have 14 autumn plus two. So I've got 16 kits and 10 weeks, which is not ideal. So I need to go through and work out firstly what kits I'm going to use. I'm going to get this out of the way for a second. So let's just, again, I apologize if the footage is not fantastic. I'm trying. So this kit is the bowling kind of art from Darcy, which I have decided I want to use for March, which is my birthday month. There's two weeks at the start of March before my birthday week that I kind of want to use um, 
like fun kids that kind of apply to me. So I, my brother and I grew up on bowling. Like we, it was like a family thing that we always used to do on the weekends. So this is really special to me. So um, I definitely want to use that. And then I have um, the drive-in kit from Pink Diamond. So I am such a drive-in girl. I really don't like going to the movies. So if you want to, me to get if you want to get me to watch a movie, just tell me we're going to the drive-in and I will go. So I really want to use this. So I'm definitely going to be using those two for the first two weeks of March. I don't know which way around, but those are set. So now I've got to come up with 10 kits. 10, no, 8 weeks out of 14. Let me just check that because March is out. Uh, so we've got 1. And then we've got Easter. So 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. So eight weeks, eight spots essentially, and I've got 14 kits. Yee! <laughs> so I'll go through what I've got and then kind of we'll try and work it out. So I have this um, rainy day themed kit from Pink Diamond. I've got Oak Ave from Caress Press. I've got Maple from Caress Press. I've got. Uh, Pumpkin Patch from Happy Stickers. I've got Lake House from Glam Planner. I've got Apple Orchard from Glam Planner. I have September Mystery from Pink Diamond. I have Harvest from Caress Press. I've got Crisp from Caress Press. I have <clears throat> July Mystery from SPC. I've got October Mystery from Pink Diamond. I've got August Mystery from Caress Press. A lot of mysteries in here. January Mystery from Pink Diamond and then Campfire from SPC. Okay, so I now need to go through and pick the ones that I 100% want to use. So that's going to be Rainy Day, Oak Ave, Maple, Apple Orchard, Um, and campfire. So how many kits is that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five kits that I have to use. Oh, God, these kits just do not stand up. And then <clears throat> I need to come up with three more out of this pile. So, um... God, I've got so many. <laughs> I didn't really... I knew I had a lot, but I thought I had more weeks to use them. So, um, I like this because of the colours, but I feel like I could leave it. This one is only in the leave it pile because I'm thinking maybe I use it for a different season. Like, maybe I'll use it for spring. Is it a spring kit? It's not really a spring kit. I really wanted to use it for end of summer into autumn, but I already have too many summer kits, so I couldn't fit it in. Maybe I'll save it and use it next year for my transition. This one, I need to look at the colours. This one is a Thanksgiving kit, but I don't have enough room around that time to use it as a Thanksgiving kit, so I bought it as an autumn kit. Um, and it's beautiful. I really want to use it. I need to check the colors. This one I've had since last year because I couldn't fit it in last year. And I'm like, I really should be trying to use it this year. I'll check the colors. Same thing with this one. It's old. I need to get it used up. Same thing with this one. And then these two. This one's old as well, but I just don't love it. So I'm going to... That one's a no. And then this one... Could be an anytime kit as well. So I'm going to put those two back. Alright, so I've got five, so I need three more. And I've got... Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to put this one back and use it in a different season. Because I just... I don't know, I just can't fit it in. This one is not my favourite ever, so I'm going to put that one away too. Alright, so that leaves us with these. So, I just want to look at the colours of these. I'm really trying to make a conscious effort now to, like, stop doing this. To not buy 
Like, uh, this doesn't help because I have so many mystery kits, which obviously you can't help, but I'm really trying to cut back on buying seasonal kits just for the sake of it. I only want to buy them if I actually genuinely love them um, because I always have ones left over from last year and then I also have like anytime kits that I don't get to use so I'm really trying to cut back. Um, this has also been reformatted and I actually like the reformatted version a lot better but I'm not going to buy that when I have a perfectly fine version here. So this is very autumn. This really to me can't be used at any other time so um, and I already have the underlays that I want to use with it. So this is probably going to be a yes um, but we'll have to go through. Why is this so hard? I really fucking hate cellos. The only reason I'm using them is because of my new storage. I, I've never used them in the past because they drive me insane. But with my new storage, I kind of have to. Okay, so that's that's one that we're thinking of. Next, let's go into this one, which I also have underlays for. This one has just kind of always been, like, I like it, but it just always gets moved along. Like, I just... The colours are pretty, I just, I don't know, I don't love it, so it kind of always gets like, oh, I'll, I won't use this one this year. Like, it's pretty, but again, I don't love it, but then, like, why are you holding on to it? Destash it. So that's a maybe, I think. Again, it's these bloody sellers. I just cannot handle the kids fit perfectly. Who thought that was a good idea? Give me some breathing room. So I think out of these two, this is how we're going to do the process. I'm more likely to, I want to use this one. So that one's going to be on that side. Next, let's do this. This cello is actually broken. It's all ripped, but I, uh, I might have a spare actually somewhere. I'm supposed to have a spare. Anyway. So this, I loved this kit when it came out. I probably don't love it as much now. Colours are pretty. I feel like that's a nice, like, breakup of the traditional autumn colours with that purple. Um, yeah, I'm just not 100% oops, sold on it. Just like the art is not really my style anymore. I'm going to try and get it back in this cello, which is totally, totally broken. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that actually wasn't... I don't know. Go in. There we go. So, I don't know. I'm just going to tear that off. Okay, that one. Do I want to use this or this one more? This one. Do I want to use this or this more? That's a hard decision. Um, I don't know. I want to put them both in the tentative no pile. <clears throat> then we've got this harvest kit. Which I only just got, literally only bought this not that long ago. This is beautiful. I love the colours on this with that like mellow... This is a yes. I'm using this one. That's There we go. We've decided. Okay, we're using that. And then this one, I feel like from memory, the colours are beautiful, which is what I love about it so much. But I can't remember. Come on. The, I hate how tight these cellos are. Ugh. Yes, it's the colours. I knew it was the colours for this one. Like, the art's pretty, don't get me wrong, but it's the colours. Okay, I think that's our three. That should make eight, and then we're good to go. Jesus, that was difficult. You guys are going to see me struggle with the cellos again, because I've actually got to pick foil now, so... Great! I'm sure that's what you guys clicked on this video for. Okay, so we are unfortunately putting this one and this one back. They are not being used this year. 
So that is a lot more kits in the leftover from this year pile that I really want to keep, but I don't know how else to do it. So um, I'm going to put this back for a minute so I can clean up my space. And now we have the kits that I'm going to be using. I'm going to move this over here and we are going to go through the foil. Some of these I already have underlays for, some of them I don't. That's kind of why I need to go through everything and decide what I'm going to be using and what I need to order. So, uh, I'm going to start with the two kits that I have, um, the anytime kind of kits. So, let's open her up. Now, I have silver underlays with this and because it, it, it to me is a very silver kit um i saw bonjour domi use the periwinkle blue color with this and i really really liked it so i'm gonna have a look and see if i want to do that um, but i am mindful that i also have some really good like movie themed silver that like literally goes perfectly so i don't know so this is the periwinkle, it's in Celestial, and I mean, the colour is a perfect match, but I only have one of them, and I'm a bit loath to kind of, I guess if I split up the foil bundle, I could pull it in, actually, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a mixed metal of bl periwinkle blue, and silver that's fun so then when I'm finished with this I will obviously I'm only going to use one of the bottom washies and not all of the scripts and stuff so I'll have like a second half bundle to use with something else so that's what I'm going to do periwinkle pop that back and then we're going to go into silver which is by far my biggest category I have so much silver foil um, all right I just need to kind of tidy so that's going to go there so I can kind of see then I've got this so I can see what I've got. And now we go through this ginormo bundle and see what I've got. So I definitely don't need any snow stuff. Um, don't need butterfly. I've got some twinkle, which I might use. Stars I don't need. Uh, I don't like confetti. I might use twinkle. I've got a lot of um, themed silver foil, which I don't have for a lot of my other colours. I don't know why I have so much themed, honestly. That's just like a silver thing. Uh, some quotes, which I don't need. Some Halloween stuff. So I've got so much snow. Um, blossom, but I don't really think Blossom goes with this. And then I've got more. I literally have so much of this silver actually insane so I don't need to buy any more fucking silver foil let me tell you so I've got twinkle which I probably won't use a whole page of twinkle when I've already got some twinkle in the smaller this is what I want to use so this is like a movie themed sheet so I definitely want to use that I don't need any travel themed um, Lux I don't need Easter I don't need and then tropical I think they're all tropical they are I don't need those okay so, I think my full boxes are going to be movie and the Periwinkle Celestial. So, I don't need any more of those. Bottom washi, I have the Periwinkle one. So, I need something to go with it. Maybe a bow. A bow would be... Oh, I can see this. Hold on. That is going to be perfect. And then it also has headers on it, which is great. So, I don't need to use the headers... Cool. Okay. And then we need to pull out some functional stuff. So um, I've got these white circle icons. I will pull out these and then the circle icons there. I'm already getting my, I'm going to try and use all my scripts from the periwinkle color. So I don't need any silver scripts. Don't need any deco bits or anything. Because I'm going to use periwinkle for that. Uh, yep, cool. So, and then I just need some 
underlays. So I've got the Periwinkle Bougie and I've obviously got heaps of Silver Bougie, but do I have anything else that might... That's in the wrong section. Those need to go at the front. I've got Night Sky, which actually... Night Sky might be cool because it's like a drive-in... Oh, and I have the... That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do Night Sky and the kind of movie themed one in silver and then I'm going to use the bougie boxes in periwinkle either underneath or over the top. So now I'm going to put all my silver back together which again I don't know why I have so much silver but I do and that is going to be my silver foil to go with my kit. I feel like Elisa is probably having a heart attack if she's watching this right now because she thinks I pull out <laughs> way too much foil which I probably do but anyway. There's a method in my brain. So these are going to be my underlays which are at the bottom of my pile. The movie night in silver and night sky in silver and then I've got the Actually, I've only got one bougie box sheet, which is fine. I'll only use one. I don't need to use... I think I'm going to put these underneath this because it's like a more sparse pattern. And then the night sky is quite dense. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I've got my icons and scripts. So I've got them in periwinkle and silver. I've got my bottom washi sheets. And then my two overlay sheets. So... Periwinkle and silver. I think that's a pretty cool combination. So now I'm going to store this back together, which is going to be fun trying to put all of this in there. I oh know that went in actually okay, did it? It did. So I'm not going to be like putting these kits in specific weeks or anything yet. That's more like when I do my lineup videos when it gets closer to the time. Um, for now, I just want to go through and make sure I've got what kits I want to use and make sure they all have um, foil and if not I need to order it. So that one is done. Next we go into bowling which I think from memory is done because I bought themed foil to go with the kit. So let's open up the package. Yeah I've got heaps of stuff in here. So I've got the bowling kit from Apple Blossom Prints which is the first time I'll be using her shop. Um, I bought this kit from her for one reason and one reason only and that is because of the bottom washi she chose. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I I really, I went back and forth on who to buy this kit from because everyone used kind of slightly different colours and I didn't love the combination that anyone chose. Uh, but you get two extra colours with this format and then you get this bottom washi, which is literally why I bought it. Like you get the lane washi and then the rainbow checkers. I just thought that was perfect. Um, I accidentally ended up ordering too many of these uh, color way from SPC when in fact the orange is the literally the same orange. Um, but I did order three of these because I do like these colors better than the colors in the kit. So I'm kind of gonna just mix and match and pull it all in to create a spread. And then I have the extra pattern boxes again so I can kind of remove the colored boxes and then some um, extras. So that's my kit. And then, all right, what have I I've got random stuff here. Uh, so, I have this bowling themed um, foil pack from Happy Stickers, which I just thought, like, you can't not use this. I feel like Holo wouldn't have been my foil choice if I had the choice, but she only had, like, the, f the core colours, and I didn't think... I would have used, like, a fun foil. So I thought Holo was, like, the best way to go, and then I got her bowling underlays in, like, a spark... like a... It's, I guess, sparkly hollow, but it's got, like, little designs kind of in it, like, little stars and little uh, peace signs and stuff. So that's going to be, like, my main kind of thing. But obviously there's no scripts, no icons, um, that sort of thing. So if I go into my hollow section, I don't think I need the whole thing. What kind of washi have I got? All right, so that's just stars. So then I'm going to pull in this, which... Um, I think I'm going to use the stars from this because I like it a little bit better than the stars in the kit. 
And then I just had some stuff off to the side, so I'm going to pull in kind of with the star theme, just like these three sheets from SPC um, from a bundle cause to kind of bring in the stars, the star deco, and then some of the kind of icon stuff. So um, nothing too crazy. I mean, it doesn't seem too crazy to me, but maybe it's crazy to other people. So that's going to be a hollow week and that's pretty much already done, which is nice and easy. Let's put that back. Um, and then my birthday kit is um, not, hasn't arrived yet, so, but I'm using like quite specific foil and stuff for that and I already know what I'm using, so that's fine. When that gets here, I'll just like bring that all together. I actually think the foil will be in the same order, so um, that's all good. So that is my two pre, like my two March kids pre-birthday um, done. So now let's go into actual autumn kits. So first on my pile, and these are in no order, is the um, apple orchard kit. So I don't know what, I don't think I have any foil for this. And the cello is really tight again. Ugh. Okay, so it has gold fo holo foil that comes with it, but I don't feel the need to necessarily use that. So these are the full boxes. Oops. It is an absolutely beautiful kit. And actually one that I am a little stumped looking at it as to what foil to bring in. I don't think it's gold foil, hollow foil. I don't think that's the move personally. But nothing is kind of jumping out at me. So that's gold hollow. It doesn't look terrible. Uh, I don't know. Let's. I don't know about gold, silver, hollow, like the traditional colours. Rose. Maybe rose? Maybe rose, I'll come back to that. Definitely not black, not rainbow, maybe matte bronze. Maybe. Gold hollow, no. Champagne lights? No. Red, no. Bonfire, no. Pink hollow, no. Hot pink, no. Lavender hollow, no. Matte gold, no, that's only summer. No, pink, blue, sparkle pink, sparkle blue, green, orange sparkle, orange sparkle? No, bronze, no, periwinkle, no, copper, maybe copper, what have we got in copper? What's that? There's like two different coppers. Ugh, hold on, pick out a copper sheet, Emma. I can't pick it up. Oh, maybe copper's the move. I feel like it's copper. All right, let's see what I've got. I don't have a lot of copper and all my copper is like different shades. So like there's this kind of half matte bronze, half copper. There's this really orangey copper, this lighter copper color. I think I'm gonna separate. They're like kind of half matte bronze. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Half copper. There we go. Because I think, I think this calls for the more orangey version. So, we've got some icons, which is helpful. This is all out of order though. That's really bothering me. All right, I need to put this back in order some food. Actually, let's do these icons. I've got a system here, some scripts. Uh, I don't know if confetti is the way I want to go. I don't think stars matches. This definitely will get a bow. I don't want to use, uh, do I, no, I don't want to use that. This has hardly any stuff left. So we've got an overlay sheet, 
an underlay sheet. Right, so these are all just mixed in, and that's red, not brown. I don't know where it cut me off because I was looking down when it cut off, but um, I was just saying I need to pick up some copper foil because all I have is this one like diamond format and it, I'm not the biggest fan of the diamond format. So I need to pick up I think some maybe like apple stuff or some leaf um, format to kind of mix and match in with my diamond format if that makes any sense. The copper is so unorganized. Freaking me out. Okay, here we go. Now we're better. We're fixed. You're going away. Copper is done. Okay, so what I have is kind of a bit of a mix and match bundle. So I think copper just makes sense to me with this kit. The colors just really, I don't know, it just speaks to me. So... I've got one page of the diamond overlays, I've got bottom washi, so I'm going to use both of these, and then I've got some um, icons and scripts, and then one page of underlays. So, I need to order some stuff in copper to go with this kit, um, as I mentioned, either something that is uh, like Apple theme, like I know, actually... I feel like I put in an order with Alicia Craft for some apple themed stuff. I wonder what foil colour I ordered it in. I actually don't know. I'm going to have to go check that because that's a bit concerning. I don't know what foil colour I ordered it in, but I don't think it was copper. So I'm gonna maybe going to have a mixed metal, which kind of seems to be all of my spreads. They're always mixed metal. But I'm happy with copper with this. I really think that's the move. So I'll need to see what I ordered from Alicia Craft. This is the campfire kit. And I'm pretty sure this should be pretty much done. Um, because I had all the foil already picked out. for. Because I'm going to use this kit in spring. And then I changed my mind. So. Oh yeah. Okay, that's right. I don't love the colours of this kit. I forgot that. This is all about the art. Uh, so I'm mixing it with so gold. I've got this um, gold foil bundle here, and then um, these pumpkin camping underlays because I think pumpkin is definitely the move there. I've got two underlays, and I've got that. Cool. So I need some headers. Uh, some what do you call it? Uh, uh, scripts and icons is the word I'm looking for. So, we go here, I'm going to put, I don't think the white goes with the kind of camping themed, but maybe I don't have any others, oh no I do, so I'll use you, I don't think stars goes, but you, you, and you, cool. So this is definitely a gold um, week, it is just the underlays that I just wanted to pop kind of coming out. So I'll be using a central, I'll be getting rid of one of these underlays and using the pumpkin instead. I just think that's going to be a really cool pop. Um, again, I tried to order this bundle in orange because I wanted to do orange as my colour. Um, but once I ordered it, the shop owner came back and said she was actually out of orange foil. Did I want to choose another one? So I had to go with gold, which is a little less exciting, but that's okay. I think it's still going to look good. It's definitely a warm kit. Okay, so that's that one. Next we go into Maple, which is some old art, but art that I didn't get to use, and I definitely want to use this year. Looks like I've got some foil assigned. Okay, so I've got underlays in, I think this is copper. It is. So I'm going to have to keep my copper weeks apart. So these are the colours of the kit. I think copper definitely makes the most sense to me. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so let's get the copper back out. Um, there. Is it copper? It just like looks too orange to be copper, but it is copper. It is. Okay, so I might do some... What are these called? Confetti with this and um, some diamonds. 
I need some underlays. I don't think stars really goes. I think it could be a time where I use the line bow, but I don't have a second bottom washi to use, so it kind of just makes more sense to just use that one. It's just easier. And then I'll use some icons and some um, circle icons. Cool. Okay. So that's definitely a copper week. That's pretty easy, that one. I don't really see any other foil being the option. I'm just going to have to make sure that I keep the two copper weeks apart because I don't like to use such a niche foil back to back. But that's okay. There's plenty of time in autumn to split them up. Um, what's sticking out you? That's better. All right. Oops. Put, always put the foil on the back in case you hadn't noticed. Um, so I can easily just flip it over and see what foil I have assigned or if I have no foil assigned. Which is kind of what I was noticing with a lot of these kits. That's why I decided to film this video. Okay, next we have Oak Ave. This is a really beautiful kit. I really like this. Uh, and so, these are the colours. So I feel like rose could be an option here. I do have some foil bits that I've already purchased. So my underlays and my bottom washi in leaves. And they're in like this burgundy colour. So I feel like I've got a couple of options. I've got this caress, caress, caress press bundle that I had off to the side for something else in the like wine colour, which I think is actually, I think it has to be this. <laughs> I don't think there's another option. There's like the perfect colour. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know why there's three sheets of underlays, but anyway, I'm just gonna tuck that back in. Uh, I don't even really need to look. I think this is just the perfect choice. Um, I don't, what was I gonna say? I don't, I don't, I don't have much of this bundle. I've only got this one left, so I'm just gonna use it as a whole bundle. I don't have much to mix and match, but um, I feel like it is just the perfect match with the burgundy that I already have. Um, and with the kit, I think that just makes sense. I think rose would be a really pretty option as well, um, but I wanna use that burgundy color. I think that's just, makes total sense to me. Oh, in. No, we're not playing ball. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. I'm almost done. Then we've got this harvest kit from Caress Press. I feel like this could be a good candidate for Rose, actually. Kind of similar, kind of that purpley, it's not purpley, it's like maroon colour is similar to the Oak Ave kit. Um, I feel like Rose, maybe as a little smoky, uh, holo, sparkly hollow Rose. The rose labels come off, come on, go back. What do we think? Oh yeah, I think Rose could be really pretty actually. Uh, I've got a lot of Rose as well, so it's good to kind of use some of it up. So. I do have these super old school like pumpkin overlays from Caress Press, which I think I'm gonna pull in one sheet of those. Um, I've got stars, which I don't think go. I've got blossom, which I don't think really goes. I've got um, this floral pattern, which I don't really think's the move. What else have I got? Confetti, which I don't really like the confetti, but that might be the move. Let's pull a sheet out. Confetti, floral, floral, floral. Why have I got so much floral? Jesus. Floral, uh, dragonfly. I don't really think that's going to go. Okay, so it looks like it is pumpkin. It's confetti with a side of pumpkin. I'm going to pull in a caress press bow because I feel like that makes sense. So we're going to do that. Um, I don't really know what else to pull in. 
Uh, dragonflies? No. This is hard. I actually don't know what goes with this kit. Confetti. Maybe blossom? Mm, that doesn't really match. I think I'm going to have to just pull in like a um, confetti because I just don't know what else to use. So we're going to do that. Then I have... What? Look how big these icons are. Like for comparison. Um, do I have a sheet of the normal size? Yeah. <laughs> this, why are these so big? That is actually enormous. I've never noticed that. Oh no, but that's actually insane. I've just never seen that before. Uh, okay, so we're going to do some circle icons, we're going to do a script sampler, and we're going to do the icons from there, and then we've got, do we have headers? I've got some headers, um, and I'm just going to pull in, I don't think really star matches, but I've just got these little, like, leftover star headers that I really like to use up, so that is going to be the mix and match that is... Uh, that one and then I'm gonna pull in I always struggle with matching rose underlays like I just don't know what color to buy because light pink is not the right color um, and rose gold is also not the right color so I'm just gonna put in two sheets of underlays for now and then try and figure out um, what color I'm actually gonna bring in Okay, so this is like my little rose bundle. So it's good to know that if I'm going to use rose in the future, I don't really have a lot of rose stuff that makes sense. It's a lot of florals, which is great for spring, but if I'm trying to use rose in another season, um, I don't have a lot of it. So just a little thing that's important for me to know in the future. Maybe I need to pick up some rose we just there's not that much that's brought out in rows so that's probably why okay come on in you go all right done we've got three more kids to go so next is this which I've already bought the underlays in matte bronze which makes it kind of simple I know I'm gonna be using matte bronze with this that rose sticker just does not want to stay on there. Uh, matte bronze. Here's my. I don't have a whole lot of matte bronze because it's not my favourite foil. Um, but I've got a bit. Oh, well, I've got a bit of it, I guess. That's probably a lot. Um, I really only have like two designs. One is Lux. Oh no, I've got three. Confetti, Lux, and the diamond one. I don't think Lux is the right move with a cabin theme. So I'm going to use a bit of confetti and then a, I'll use that diamond page up and then a fresh diamond page. Um, in terms of bottom washi, I think I'm going to go for confetti. Um, and then I've got these matte bronze icons, but they're just, I feel like matte bronze changed along the way because they're nothing like the current matte bronze color. So I don't know when I'm ever going to use those, but we just keep them in there. So I'm going to use um, a couple of partially used pages to try and use them up before I go into like new ones. And then I've already got um, two underlays, so I need one more sheet. Okay, matte bronze. Cool, so that's pretty straightforward. I already knew what foil I was going to be using um, for that one goes at the back and then that goes there and then we've got that and then we've got the underlays so I got the tree underlays from Alicia Craft there I just think those are the I think I saw um I think there was also Domi who did that first she had the idea to kind of use those for another kit they're from the Twilight collection but I mean they're just trees so perfect to use for like this kit which has the exact kind of trees in the background so that is done. Then we have the kit that has the colors that I really love. Um, so this is what they look like. 
This is a tough one. I feel like I haven't used gold once. So I probably need to use gold for this kit. They're warm colours, so gold will make sense. Um, I don't feel like I can go through a whole season without using gold. So we're going to use gold. Um, okay, so let's go through what I've got. Dragonfly is probably not the right move. Sushi, Disney, Dragonfly, Celestial, Travel, um, Halloween, Spring. Jeez, it's really, um, stars. I feel like this, this I could use Lux. This is a Lux kind of kit. So we're going to do a sheet of Lux. Celestial, no, no. No, make oh, okay. I think I'm gonna do Lux and Leaves. That's kind of a cool combo. I'm into that. Then in terms of bottom washi, I've got stars, I've got palm trees, I've got Lux, I've got confetti, I've got celestial, dragonfly, I've got leaves. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do Lux and Leaves, and that's a really cool combo. I'm gonna use these two circle icon sheets and try and kind of use some of them up. Same with this, same with this. Um, same with this, same with this. I've got a few things that I just wanna use up, so I'm gonna try and go that route first. And then in terms of underlays, I don't really have anything that I think is suitable. So I'm gonna grab out um, just my half underlays and then I'll need to buy some in gold. I actually really like this combination. I think this is going to be really pretty together. Um, okay, move that there. Then we've got bottom washi. Underlays goes at the back. Got some headers. And then I've got cool. So I'm literally using kind of Lux and Leaves as my two designs that are going to run the way through and I think gold's actually really going to pop there even though I'm using gold just because I don't, I'm not using gold any other time, I think gold is a good choice, so pop that in I feel like this is going to be a very long video <laughs> and I don't know how you, how interesting it's going to be but Maybe it is to kind of see how my brain works, how I put stuff together. I feel like if someone else did a video like this, I would be really interested in watching it. So hopefully you guys want to see it. If not, that's fine. I can take it. And then last but not least, I'm pretty sure I already have most of the foil for this anyway. Um, this is the rainy day kit and I'm using, I know, matte bronze and matte silver because I remember buying it. Um... So I've got some rainy day coats in matte silver. I've got some autumn in uh, bottom washi in MAC bronze. I've got, yeah it is, okay. So I've got one sheet of the drip drop in matte bronze, one in matte silver, and then I've got the mixed matte bronze, matte silver foil bundle. So that's actually already done, cool. That, and then that's everything. That is all of my autumn kits now with foil and stuff ready to go. I actually don't need to order too much at all. So I'll just do a quick like, little recap. Just get rid of this, go, go away. So this one is done. This is rainy day and I'm using matte bronze, matte silver. This, I need to order gold um, underlays, um, but I'm using gold leaves and lux. This one is done, I'm using matte bronze. This is done, I'm using rose, but actually I need to figure out what colour underlays I want to use. This is done, I'm using burgundy. Uh, done, I'm using copper. This one's done, I'm using gold and pumpkin. I need to order some copper underlays. This one's done, I'm using hollow. And then this is done, I'm using silver and periwinkle. So I actually only need to order things for two different kits and that's it. So I'm gonna keep those aside. And then that's everything, that's my autumn kit. So the, you'll see these video, these kits in my lineup and you'll kind of see 
exactly what I decided to end up using and what order I'm going to use them in but that's I guess a little sneak peek and now I feel a lot more organized and I actually feel good that I don't really have to order that much that kind of makes me happy so thank you guys for sticking around if you did this long um, I hope this was interesting and I'll catch you on my next video bye